Welcome to a video on learning Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover variables in the Harlow story format. In the Harlow story format, variables come in two different types, story and temporary. A story variable starts with a dollar sign and exists from when it is created to when the story is closed in the browser. A temporary variable starts with an underscore and like its name implies, only exists from when it is created to when the passage in which it was created is no longer being shown. And Harlow variables are created using the set macro. This sets a variable, a variable to some value. Once set, the value of a variable can be used in a passage through including it. For example, you can now see these words. Temporary variables are created and used in the same way. As we can see, these words look like those words. Now let's pause here and go look at the code in the passage. In a story map view here, we see the first passage starts with the beginning. The content of the beginning is similar to how I read it when I looked at the presentation of it. However, it does have some additional code. As mentioned, the set macro is used right here to set the variable story value to the value these words. Val variable is set is set to these words. We also see we can now see the value of this variable which is these words. And it all flowed together when I read it. For example, you can see these words. Notice this story variable starts with a dollar sign. Down here in the second example is a temporary variable. Starts with an underscore. And it is set in the same way, using the set macro. Read left to right, we see set the variable to some value. In this case, set the temporary variable temporary value to the value of the string, those words. And we see the same thing down here, this last sentence. As we can see, story value looks like temporary value. And so we're including both of those in the passage, a story variable with a dollar sign and a temporary variable with an underscore. Coming back to the presentation, let's now move to another passage. Well, now we notice immediately there was an error, and Harlow has let us know that. As we see here in the text, however, only story variables are retained when moving between passages. While we can see these words, we cannot see, and Harlow has produced an error for us and let us know what it is. The error is temporary variables only exist inside the same passage and hook in which they're set, which we know because I reviewed in the first passage. But we can see now that's an error. Let's go look at the code to see what the error actually was. Moving back over here, closing the passage editor, coming back to the story view, and now looking at the content of the passage, another passage, we see we tried to look at the value of the temporary variable, temporary value, but we could not because it no longer existed. It was created in the passage at the beginning. When we transitioned to another passage, that temporary variable no longer exists. However, story value, a story variable, continued to exist across them. And this is the main difference between story variables and temporary variables. As I've mentioned here, story variables are maintained across the story. Temporary variables are maintained only in the passage in which they are created. And as we saw, if we try to use them in other passages in which they aren't created, it produces an error because those variables have no value. This has been a quick overview of how variables work in the Harlow story format. I have the choices of two of them. Story variables, which again exist throughout the life of a story once created, and temporary variables, which only exist in the life of a passage. Depending on the functionality used and how you're creating your stories, both of these can be used for different means. Thanks for watching.